Hi there guys, it's iPhone Helper here. Um, I've had a few requests on Twitter to make a quick demonstration of the tweak called iRetina available in Cydia. Um, this is a tweak which allows you to upgrade your existing icons to that of a higher resolution uh, for the Retina displays of the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4G. Um, I'll give a quick demonstration of this. People seem a little bit confused because it has no springboard icons or settings um, in the settings menu for this. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how this works. I am using a iPad for the demonstration, which obviously doesn't have a retina display. Um, you won't get the full effect of the icons, but for the process it makes no difference whatsoever. For this to work, you will obviously need a jailbroken device. You'll need the iRetina tweak available through Cydia. Um, this was spelt with an E-R instead of an A in Retina. It will all be in the information of this video. You will also need something called Mobile Terminal, which I'm showing you there. It's available through Cydia free of charge um, if you just search for Mobile Terminal. The tweak itself is a command line tweak, which means that it's executed via the command line in terminal, so you don't have any springboard icons or settings like I said before. I think that's where the confusion is with some people. So if we just open up mobile terminal, you'll get this blank screen. You would normally have a virtual keyboard at the bottom, but I actually have mine plugged into a dock, which it recognizes, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't bring that up. And the first thing we're going to do is just type in the name of the tweak, which is iRetina. You can see that there, and then we'll hit enter. It'll bring up these further options. Um, you've got one, one, two, three, four, and zero. All we want to do is select option number one, which is adapt the icons. Automatically bring up a yes or no dialog. Hit yes, and you will see that it converts these icons itself running through them all, telling you whether it's been successfully adapted or not. Once it does them, you will get this automatically respring. Hit yes, and you'll see that it automatically resprings the device. Once that has loaded back up, you'll be able to check the springboard and see that your icons are visibly different. Like I said earlier, you won't see that on the iPad, what with it not being a retina display. But on your iPhone 4 or iPod Touch 4G, it'll be noticeably different. So yeah, check it out guys. It's available in Cydia free of charge. All the information will be in the um, information of this video. Thanks a lot now.